Okay then, so, welcome back to episode 8 of your platform tutorials, and this tutorial, you've just seen what I've just done then, I've just deleted the fix, but, you know, I'll just go through it again. Uh, this episode we're going to be going over bug fixes and possibly other things, I've not really thought of what else to do, but I might think of something whilst it's paused or something, I don't know, I don't know. Um, Mostly aimed on bug fixes though, this episode. So, the two bugs that I know about is the obviously the one with the health and this one here. So basically, the player can just jump endlessly and get endless amounts of coins. Now, we don't want that obviously. So what I'm going to do is, rather than spawning the coin on the player, I'm going to spawn the coin on top of here and shoot it upwards a little bit. So, yeah. We'll do that possibly this episode. If there's nothing else to do. But um, I'm going to fix the bug where you can do it an um, endless amount of times. So, yeah. Okay, so to fix the um, health, I was getting it right before. It was just in the wrong area. You just need to put the floor in before the random just like that so floor open brackets random open brackets 10 comma 35 closing brackets closing brackets done so that'll floor the random number to just a um, normal number pretty much so um, when I run this I'll run over here collect those coins and as you can see it only took 20 off there and then it took Keeps on taking random amount. Yep. So you'll never get a decimal amount pretty much now. Um so that's good. That's fixed. Okay, so <coughs> sorry, just So let's um let's get on with the boxes then. Which is here. So as you can see we've only we only told it to do this. And what we want to do is straight after this destroy. Okay? That's the simplest fix I can ever think of ever. Like ever ever. Just get rid of that. And there you go, as you can see, I collect them. Ugh. And then it destroys them. So that's that bug. Another bug that I know know about is the collisions. Now collisions are a pain in the bootox. Simply because they just are. So what you want to do is rather than faffing about and making everything like spot on just make sure that your body has the collider on it at all times your body is the only thing you want to worry about when it comes to collisions and um, the smaller the collisions the better because of performance so um yeah I like this guy's moustache. I love that software that I got. It was like three or four pounds or something from Steam. And it pretty much just makes characters. We can get rid of these. There's no real point to them. Let's get rid of them. Um, you can make loads of characters within a few simple clicks and they'll be unique because you make them have different accessories and stuff and I'm pretty sure you can draw your own and put them in as well so um yeah it's pretty good these collisions aren't going to be spot on by the way uh don't don't expect anything big from these obviously you can spend more time on it but I'm just trying to do this as quick as I can there we go done so now in here 
as you can see, it'll hit us there, but no longer will it hit us that close. We'll also fix the collisions on the snail as well, because his collisions are a bit messed up. Oh dear. So as you can see, when we walk off, we can actually we can oh yeah we can actually walk off straight away. So there you go. Rather than having like the collision box out here, if it's no longer if our feet are no longer on this platform, it'll fall off. Now you won't have that problem that's going on here because you would have spent more time on your collisions and you would have fixed that but um, obviously I haven't bothered with fixing too much on the collision side so um, that's only a bug that will exist for me so that's pretty much that next episode we're gonna go on to these mystery boxes and we'll um, we'll make them shoot up rather than just spawn on the player and disappear straight away. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you.